Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. For this week's video, we have an active versus passive pickup shootout lined up for you guys. So if you're wondering what kind of pickup set you should get, hopefully this video will help steer you in the right direction. Now I've played on guitars with active pickups for many years, including a Music Man Steve Lukather model. That was a really cool guitar. And then I had a guitar with uh, EMG 81 and 85 combo. That's a classic combo. If you played guitar during a certain era, odds are you had that pickup uh, combo in your guitar. And this is the next gen from EMG. So this is the 5766 combo, which has El Nico magnets instead of ceramic. So they're supposed to sound a little bit more like a classic humbucker. All right, so let's take a quick look at the three Les Pauls we're gonna use for today's blind test. And your job is gonna be to hopefully identify the guitar equipped with active pickups in and amongst the other two. So this is a Les Paul standard. Um, it's a very, very cool uh, aqua burst kind of thing. And like I mentioned, EMG uh, 57 and 66, which is the newest gen. And so we'll see how natural it sounds in and amongst the other Les Pauls. <music> Now guitar number two is this very cool Les Paul double cut. This is a Les Paul standard. And as you notice, it just has a volume and tone and the pickup selectors down here. So a little bit of a unique guitar. This features passive pickups uh, from Dark Moon. These are the Death Valleys. And guitar number three is this Les Paul Traditional, which is 100% stock. All right, so let's start our blind test. Now, active pickups sort of get a bad rap when it comes to playing clean or, you know, lightly broken up tones, uh, but really excel in styles like metal, where you're going to be using a ton of gain because they give you great note definition, individual string definition. You can hear exactly all the notes you're playing without get it getting like really mushy. So that's sort of like, you know, the stereotype of an active pickup. So what we're gonna do is put them through each one of those genres. So we're gonna start in the neck position and we're gonna play uh, basically clean, sort of a little jazzy thing. And then we're gonna use both pickups together for like a blues overdrive. And then we're gonna go to the bridge and play some metal. Without any further ado, let's listen to our three guitar clips and see if you guys can identify which guitar has the active pickups. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at the results for test number one. Are you guys ready for the reveal? Guitar number one was the active pickups right there. Guitar number two was the double cut in the corner there. And guitar number three was the Les Paul traditional. All right, now that you guys have heard each one of the guitars, hopefully test number two will become a little bit easier. Now we're gonna use both pickups together and we're gonna use a light bluesy breakup. Let's check it out, good luck. <laughs>
All right, so let's look at the results for test number two. And this was interesting. So guitar number one, sorry, I'm gonna to have to look at my monitor, was the Les Paul traditional. Guitar number two was the Les Paul with the active pickups. And guitar number three was the Les Paul double cut. And what was interesting is the way the pickups combined, um, the guitar with the active pickups was actually a little bit warmer than the double cut. And it just depends on you know how those pickups interact. So I just found that interesting and maybe it threw some of you guys off, but there you go, that's the results. Okay, let's move on to test number three. We're gonna head to the bridge pickup and play with some really high gain and we're gonna play along with the drum track, play some metal for you guys, see if you can figure out which guitar is which. All right, now it's time to look at the results for test number three. Guitar number one was the Les Paul double cut. Sorry, I'm gonna to have to look at my monitor again. There it is. Uh, guitar number two was the active pickups and guitar number three was the Les Paul traditional. So there you go, hopefully you got that one right. Some final thoughts on the active pickups. I think they sounded really good. They definitely had more clarity in the neck and the, the bridge individually, but they did warm up quite a bit in the middle position, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, they still earn their keep in high gain though. They're really quiet and there's, there's no hint of muddiness or flubbiness at all. It's just, you know, straight energy from the guitar to the amp. Uh, and it sounded really, really good. So that was cool. And I didn't really think it sounded particularly uh, sterile either, which is cool. And I don't know if that's just a function of the, uh, the Alneco magnets in this latest generation, but it, it certainly sounded different. Both the other Les Pauls sounded a little bit more you know, round and warm, and this one a little bit more cutting. So it just depends what you want, but overall I thought they sounded really good. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little blind test. Let me know in the comments below if you thought the active pickups stuck out like a sore thumb, or if they blended in just fine and it sounded like the other Les Pauls. And if you've ever used a guitar with active pickups, let me know which set you used and if you guys liked them or not. All right, have a great weekend, you guys. We'll see you Monday with a new video. Take care.